Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. in a drowning set here and a mink set and I found some muskrat tracks under here. I put a drowner underneath this bridge because I uh, gotta worry about stuff getting stolen. I see coon tracks there. There's some mink tracks there. Oh we got some. Looks like we got one. Here's my drowner. It's been set off. I'll get that remade. I got a uh, one and a half right here on this trail. I kind of made it with my foot. There were already tracks here, but I wanted to funnel them. With the 110 right here on the bridge connected. There's a bunch of fish right here. That's weird. A whole bunch of fish. Look like little uh, mosquito fish. We connected with the mink. Look at this guy. Getting cleaned off a little bit. It's a nice mink. I'm doing pretty good on mink this year. A lot better than I used to. Kind of target them a little more. Put a 110 right here. Look at this. He's got a leg missing. He's just having a bad time. Front leg's missing. You know what? I'm gonna probably I'm gonna probably go ahead and dispatch this guy. Just because. Look at how this poor guy. He's missing two legs. I'll put him in my pocket for now. There's dead frogs everywhere, but this guy's alive and he's just suffering. I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch him. It's a nice mink. Just using a 110. I don't use any mink boxes. I, like I say, I usually don't hardly even target mink. Oh, let's go ahead and pull that stake out. Just set up the way I had it. I just use this stake here. To hold the trap tight against that, they come around this rail right here and go right into it.
it doesn't matter uh, how deep you put that trap the bars are just under the water so they're gonna trip it when he comes through there that's all I did food everywhere for everything Wine sets are the way to go when you gotta deal with stuff like that. I did put a carrot because I know there's muskrats right here somewhere. Make it a 110. I probably should put one right here too. When I come back. There's, there's a tunnel there. And you can see there's mink tracks going right up right here. They just go right up along this wall. But that's where they're gonna come down past is right there. Probably had a coon in this guy. Mm, purple string on it, that's kind of strange. Right back here. about that drowner. Okay, awesome. We'll take it. I actually got a couple one and a halfs with me. So I think I'm gonna put a one and a half right there next to that pole. And I'm gonna put one right here. Cause I can see mink or something's going right here, going up into this tunnel. They're coming right around this edge right here. So I'm gonna grab those, get this frog taken care of, and then I'll come back, make a set. This is a pretty simple little ditch. The beavers have been causing all kinds of issues here, so. It's definitely got mink here, and it's got muskrat, but now that the dam has been busted out, the culvert is plugged up, the sign don't look too good, but it does look good for mink. Okay, I want my trap to be right there. So I'm gonna put my uh, one and a half out here. I want I want it out here as deep as I can get it so when they swim out here they're they're toast. <clears throat> Set that earth anchor. Still reaches. I'm gonna take that just like this. And they're gonna hug that. Coon. What up, so whatever. They're gonna come right around that corner. And you can see I didn't even mess anything up when I just did that. That's all underwater. I'm gonna put my foothold right there. Every time, and there's kind of a step right here still, cause there's, I dropped the mud level right here. But right here is the same, so they're gonna step down right on that trap. When they come right around this corner. Right on the trap. Mink tracks come right all the way right here. I can see the trail right here. So, another frog. He's dead. And there's nothing around where I'm at right now. Just farm fields. Okay guys, right now, 
This ain't real crazy deep here, you can see. I'm taking my boot, pushing all this loose mud out here. Now I got a hole here. Notice I'm only going this far. I want my trap right here. Look how shallow that is. But out here, I got a deep hole now. I want to be able to drown the critter right here. Okay, we're pretty deep now. It's, that's plenty deep enough to drown a muskrat or, or the mink. The raccoon will be sitting probably right here against the wall. Okay. Trap's gonna go there. It's kind of been a slow day on the line. Uh, I still got some bobcat traps to check, but so far it looks like it's another coyote free day. <coughs> so, I'm doing some extra sets here guys, for you guys to see. I always to try to experiment. This is a one and a half duke. I use them for a lot of stuff. <clears throat> okay, right here is where the mink is gonna go right around this. I'm gonna have to put the foothold right there. Right into it. And then you just wait. I got my 110 right there. He's ready to go. I caught a musk right here. And a hole down this creek a little ways. Probably a week ago. I think it was eight. Half of him was missing. So I figured I'd probably get a mink at some point. Ouch! Rock! Got a boulder! Man down! Oh no! I did not see that boulder. I found it. Okay. We're all good. So long as they don't put a hole in my waders. Okay, I'll keep on going, guys. Stay tuned. Just want to let you guys know that the old frog won't go to waste. Chick, 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 and they'll take care of it and it's gone. I gotta reward everybody for you know coming to their call. But they will that frog will be completely cleaned up. They're cleaning up the raccoons right now. Here you guys go. Well, that's gonna be all for today. Oh no, man down, man down. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next video.